Hi everyone, Lua here with a quick tutorial from Kamala Tech. Today we're talking about how to set up expiry dates for your Confluence pages. Maybe you have content on a page that will go out of date after a certain time, or maybe you have a document that you need to review regularly for compliance purposes. Whatever the reason, you can add expiries or due dates to your page with Kamala Document Management. Today, I'll be showing you how to do this in Confluence Data Center and Server, but it also works in the cloud with a few minor differences. Let's start off with an example page. Here, we have a password policy document, and I want to make sure that this page gets reviewed after a certain amount of time. I've already added the simple approval workflow, as you can see here. To add the expiry, I'm going to edit the workflow with the Workflow Builder. Here in the Builder, you can see a diagram of the workflow, and I'm going to click the final state in the workflow, which is called Approved here. Uh, I'll edit it, and you can see that there's a space to add a due date. You can add it by year, month, weeks, days, or you can also add it by a fixed calendar date as well. Just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to set it to 3 seconds so you can see what happens when it actually expires. I'll apply that change, and now we still have to tell the workflow what to do when the due date actually transpires. So for that, we're going to add a transition, and we'll select the expired transition, and choose the state, we'll choose in progress here, and add it. And you can see here, now once the uh, approved page has expired, it will go back to the in progress state. And of course, you could also add uh, other state, and set it to go there once it's expired, like a, an obsolete or an archive state for archiving purposes. So now we're going to save these changes and go back to the page. So now I can approve the page, which brings it to the approved state. Now you can see the due date is up here in the corner and it's set for just a few seconds, which means that once I refresh the page, you'll see that it's expired and transitioned back to the in-progress state. And there you go. That's the simplest way to add an expiry to a workflow. If you want to learn more, you can check out our wiki or contact our support. As always, we can answer your questions or help you build your workflow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.